Today, I'm going to show you Document GPS, the next generation tool that puts you back in control of your documents, stopping data leaks, data losses, and email compromise before they happen. As you may know, 91% of all cyber attacks, costing the world $8 trillion in 2023, originate from emails and email attachments. This number increases each year. Email attachments are the leading cause of data leaks, losses, IP theft, wire fraud, and cyber hacking. On average, a leaked email attachment can cost organizations $4.88 million per incident in breach-related expenses. Now you have an all-in-one next-generation solution, Document GPS, leveraging advanced cryptography and blockchain-powered tokenization. It even protects against emerging threats from AI and quantum computing. To help you understand how our system works, let's take a look at this. For 35 years, we've relied on the traditional email attachment, the familiar paperclip for sharing files. However, once you send a file this way to others, recipients have a lot of power. They can forward it, download it, and they can misuse the content without your permission or even your knowledge. And you cannot take it back. Additionally, files can be easily tampered with, which opens the door to fraud. If their device gets hacked, your files now stored on their device are also compromised. That's why we developed the next generation secure email attachment. It's powered by zero trust and single source of truth technology, and it finally allows you to regain ownership and control of your files. The only thing you need to remember, always click on the document GPS orange paperclip, not the dangerous traditional paperclip. When you click the document GPS orange paperclip, you'll enter a secure, private, and controlled space. Right away, you'll see that your recipients cannot share or download your documents unless you grant them permission. You can move sensitive email content into this private message area. It's fully encrypted, ensuring that only you and your recipients can ever view the communication. I will now proceed by uploading a file, a financial statement, and composing a private message. And I'll leave these settings as they are. And then I attach. As you will notice, the user experience is very similar to a standard file attachment. I will now send this to my recipient. I will now switch to the recipient's account. Once the email arrives, the recipient can open the document. Importantly, this works with any email server, Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL, etc. Upon accessing this document, you will immediately notice several features. First, there's a private message area at the top. Second, the document cannot be shared or downloaded, as the sender has not granted those permissions. Additionally, any attempt to take a screenshot is natively blocked on your device. Now let's switch back to my sender account. Returning to Document GPS and navigating to my library, you'll find a portal that displays all your attachments, both sent and received. From this dashboard, you can instantly see when a recipient has viewed a document, indicated by a check mark next to their avatar. Furthermore, you can review detailed activity in Track Activity, showing the precise time and email account used for viewing. At a glance, you can determine if the document has been viewed, shared, downloaded, signed, or accessed by multiple users. If I decide to change anybody's permission levels, I can do so at any time through Manage Access. I decide whether they can share, download, comment, or edit, all independently. For this recipient, I will only allow her to share. As you can see here, when Mary Scott reopens the document, she will see the share button is now active once I give her sharing rights. This allows her to forward it to her colleague, advisor, or client as needed. For this demo, she will forward the document to her office manager. Once the document has been forwarded, you can immediately see in the tracking screen that your direct recipient has shared it to a third party. If the third party is not someone you want to share your document with, you can revoke their access and they will not be able to view the document. No matter how many times your recipient has shared, you will always remain in control and have the monitoring ability to see the entire chain of custody. Through this system, the document GPS paperclip can protect, control, track, and recall your email attachments. None of these capabilities existed with the classic paperclip. Now we can move on to the advanced protection features. Next, I will be sending my wire instructions, which I do not want anyone taking a screenshot of. 
Once this is uploaded, I want to set a timer to limit the recipient's access to two days instead of the suggested 30 days. I also would like to apply advanced protection by selecting the advanced screenshot block and the watermarking feature which can serve as evidence if anyone tries to get a screenshot. Share prevention places a consent statement not to share the document if the recipient downloads a copy. I will leave this unchecked. Once the document is attached to my email, I will now proceed to share it to a recipient. Let's now go through the recipient's user experience. When a restricted file is open, the recipient will need to provide consent not to take screenshots, photos, or any copies of the document content. The consent event will be recorded on blockchain as an immutable event. Once consent has been given, the whole document will be watermarked, and this will include the recipient's name, email address, or user identifier. This serves as evidence of policy violation in the event that a screenshot was attempted. In case a recipient still attempts to take a screenshot on their device, it will be blocked and the event will be recorded. Furthermore, this event will be recorded in the tracking screen and in blockchain as immutable evidence. Through the events in the tracking screen, organizations can monitor activities with the document and keep control over it. The next feature that I'd like to present is the secure upload link. With the previous use cases, I've been sending out information through outbound attachments. What if I want to collect confidential information such as my candidate resume, or my patient records from a health provider, or financial statement from a client? This can be achieved with the secure link which comes with a document GPS account. In this example, the secure link is linked in my email signature, indicating that this is the only way to send documents securely back to me. For the purpose of this demo, I will be asking Mary Scott to upload her CV via my secure link. Once she receives the email, she can now use the secure link to upload her confidential document and send it to me in a secure, tokenized manner. When sending files via secure link, a private message can be included for the requester along with controlling the share and download permissions. Advanced protection can also be applied such as screenshot block or access expiration. Once Mary Scott has uploaded and shared her files with me, she will be taken to her own library where she will see that a virus scan is ongoing for the file she just sent. All files go through a virus scan before being sent to recipients. Going back to the sender's account, an email notification should have been received along with the file that Mary Scott has sent to me. I notice that Mary has not granted me access to download. I can ask her for permission to download through the request access option. This workflow is already built within Document GPS, which makes communication very simple. The email attachment can be viewed within the extension itself, but this can be shown in a bigger screen via the expanded view. The next feature I'd like to emphasize is the next generation e-signature. Let me show you how it works. In this example, I will be selecting a patient consent form that requires signing by the patient. Our e-signature does not need the back and forth exchanges that come with signature packages. Another important thing to note is that the signing party's emails go into the two fields of the email, and the viewers go into the CC or BCC fields. Once the e-signature has been enabled, you can now add the signature fields along with date or text fields. Once everything is complete, the document can now be attached to the email and sent to Mary Scott. A document can have just one or even multiple signing parties. By now, my recipient should have received two emails, including a request to sign the document. The signature can be created and the signing process can be completed within the email itself. Once the signed document is submitted, the sender will receive a confirmation that the document has been signed. The activity tracking feature will show what time the document was signed, and in addition to this, a signature certificate can also be downloaded. With this process, everything is in one place, without having to repeatedly upload and download documents, preventing data leaks. There are many more features including e-tags, envelopes, and copy links.
Each document in the library has a key which signifies the data protection technology used in protecting each and every one of your files. The admin panel provides enterprise-level document monitoring and compliance, ensuring organizations maintain full ownership and control. Documents are not physically sent externally. Instead, the organization retains document tokens securely within the vault. Document GPS is a certified Microsoft plugin and Google extension, which takes a few minutes for you to install across your organization. Your company can immediately stop potential data leaks, data losses, and email compromise. Sign up for Document GPS today at ShelterZoom.com and take full ownership and control of what matters most, your data.